name is Patrick Kelly. I'm the regional director uh, for Africa chapter for We Don't Have Time. I happen to know We Don't Have Time back 2019. Despite We Don't Have Time started back 2016 in a place, uh, in, a, in a country called Sweden. Uh, a friend of mine introduced me to that organization and uh, I happened to write a climate idea because we don't have time, it's the largest global platform uh, sensitizing the issues to do with climate change. And I happened to write a review about 2019 and the year 2020, I happened to be a global winner for it. From there, I became the ambassador. But from the ambassador, I became now the director for Kenya chapter and so far to the whole Africa, where we are sensitizing the issues to do with the climate crisis. Actually, we are the largest global platform where we bring all people together uh, to work together in the issues to do with climate crisis. And we say together we are the solution to the climate crisis. Back 2016, after Trump won the uh, American elections, and they noted that um, the life of their children are in danger. So that's they felt that they don't have time. They have to protect the generation to come. And that's how they came up with the name. And now it's a group of blood. We don't have time. We don't have time. And we don't have time. Yeah, we don't have time for business as, as usual. Okay, we are working with so many universities in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Kukusa is part of us. So Kukusa happened to invite us and they usually invite us so many events and whenever they invite us we happen to attend. So they said the uh, invitation on Monday and when we had this, the doctor of our president initiating this uh, organization we felt it's good to come and grace the occasion. As an organization, we give awareness. Actually, our issue is to sensitize people that we are in the danger time and we don't have time to spare. It's up to us to work on it. And the time to work on it is not even today. Actually, it was yesterday. So we happen to tell people and uh, we are seeing a positive uh, report from our scientists, experts, and our partners from all over the world. And we think like what our first daughter said today, we have to play that door. We need to plant trees. Now not only plant trees, trees, we need to nurture them and grow them. And not only the trees, there are so many things to do with climate change in terms of plastic, in terms of fossil fuels, in terms of so many things that we need to come together as a family like how our icon Wangari Mathai, the Nobel uh, Prize winner of 204, we need to be that hummingbird. And if we can act together, I believe we can achieve the goal that we need. It's, we are in that, that time of emergency. I think the world leaders, and uh, we are not even begging them, they should come together like how our president Ruto is doing. We need to take care of our mother nature. It's us. If not us, I don't know who else will take care of us. I think God has entrusted us with so many things, but he needs us to take care of our mother nature. So it's our high time. This generation living today, I think we should act and uh, salvage what's remaining for our ad. We're talking about livelihoods, we're talking about clean air, we're talking about 
clean water, safe urban areas, um, public health, food systems. There is no peace building without restoration or preservation of the environment. We usually get challenges, not only in Kenya, all over, because we don't have time, it's a big blood, they are pushing their agendas, we go to COP20, or COPs events. Eh? So they are challenging, our leaders, they just talk, like what one of the main activists from Sweden said, Greta, they just talk, 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 but we don't need talk, we need action. Like our president, I congratulate him. Actually, he is telling us to plant 50 billion trees. And already, like the initiative that we had today, we can see his action. We can see the actions from the, our counties. We need to act, actually. And uh, I believe if we act, I think we will achieve our goal. Or not our goal, maybe the goal of our generation to come.